Uh, go ahead all the way in the back. I'm gonna do a lightning round of rapid fire, hard hitting questions. Are you ready? Um, I'll have to just circle back with you. Coffee or tea? I'll circle back if there's more I can share with you. Cats or dogs? I'll have to circle back with you on it. It's a good question. Ford or Chevy? We'll circle back with you on this today. The year is 2013. You're the spokeswoman for the State Department. NBC reports sexual allegations being covered up there. This concerns the time that Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State. And allegations of prostitution and pedophilia and allegations that those crimes were somehow covered up. The ambassador, quote, routinely ditched his protective security detail in order to solicit sexual favors from both prostitutes and minor children not confirm specific investigations. I'm not going to talk about specific cases. Would you care to elaborate? You or someone else may have asked about this the other day, and I think I have something on it here. One moment. Uh, <clears throat> thanks for your patience. So, <clears throat> let's see. Let me, let me, let me um, talk to our team about it. I present you a riddle. The left says Donald Trump is an evil fascist dictator. The right says Barack Obama is an evil communist dictator. Joe Biden signed more executive orders in his first month than Donald Trump and Barack Obama did combined in their first month. By this logic, does that make Joe Biden a super duper evil fascist communist dictator? We will certainly circle back with you. The world wants to know, have you ever actually circled back to anything ever? I will have to circle back on that one. Does the president have any comment on the ongoing violence in Washington State and Oregon we've seen in recent days? Well, certainly we had our team uh, on the ground, our national security team, even uh, before 12.01, early in the morning um, on Inauguration Day because we wanted to be able to monitor uh, events happening across the country and any unrest that was um, resulting from, uh, from uh, the last couple of weeks. Um, I haven't spoken with him specifically about those events, but it is something our national security team Liz Sherwin-Randall, our Homeland Security Advisor, is closely monitoring, of course, um, and, um, but if we have an additional update, I'm happy to provide it to you. Do you know anything about anything, or are you just paid a six-figure salary to say nothing? I hate to disappoint you, but I will have to circle back with you on that as well. So, Jen, it's been almost a year since we circled back. How do you deal with jerks from Fox News like Peter Ducey, who has the audacity to ask about things like the crime rate being out of control? If you look at Fox on a daily basis, I mean, do you remember the four boxes that you had that we had on all the TVs, right? Which mm -hmm. is on my TV right now. So right now, just to give you a sense, so CNN, Pentagon, as many as 8,500 U.S. troops on heightened alert. Okay, true. Same on MSNBC. CNBC is doing their own thing about the market. And then on Fox is Janine Pirro talking about soft on crime consequences. I mean, what, what does that even mean? Right. Um, so there's an alternate universe on some uh, coverage. What's scary about it is a lot of people watch that.